Hello, good morning, everyone. Greetings from Beijing, China, once more. Time flies. Now we're in the first week of March. Now spring is well and truly underway. I'm very pleased and honored to carry on with my public lecture um, on the at the European Tai Chi Culture Forum. Culture Center and uh, share my experience of the compact, short and compact form of Yang style Tai Chi Chuan, known as the 24 step Tai Chi. Today is my third session of the public lecture. In the past two sessions, we have covered the first six movements. Namely, opening stance, qi shi, parting the wild horse's mane, ye ma fen zong, white crane open its wings, bai he liang shi. Number four, grasp the um, brush knee twist steps, low si ao bu, and strum the lute. Shou Hui Pi Ba, that's number five. Number six, Dao Juan Gong, repose the monkey. In today's session, I will cover the next three movements, namely, grasp peacock's tail, left form, and grasp peacock's tail, the right form. They are basically the same movements practiced and done like mirrored image, left and right, to help and develop the balance of our left side of the brain and right side of the brain. And the third movement of this session will be single whip, Dan Bian. Before I demonstrate these three movements, I would like to introduce the concept of the techniques. Lan Chue Wei, Grass Peacock's Tail, even though it's one name, but it includes a very important set of techniques. These four techniques are so profoundly important. There is a saying in Tai Chi classics called Ba Fa Wu Bu, eight methods and five steps. These eight methods refers to the prominent, the most important um, combating uh, techniques in the essence the skills of Tai Chi as a martial application. These movements include four out of the eight. Grasp the peacock's tail will include four out of the eight important techniques. Sometimes I prefer to describe these four techniques as the four energy gates because they help remind us how this energy, the internal energy, transforms from one stage to another. How to neutralize an incoming force and how to react and return after neutralization, how to counter return a technique. And we call it yielding back. Basically, borrow our opponent's energy to use it to our advantage. Neutralize the techniques of or the principles of Tai Chi. It characterized by these four energy gates. They namely. Peng, most frequently um, translated as Peng, this 
forward resilient energy outwards it's expanding like a sponge full of the energy so expanding and this energy will change transform from fullness from the substantial fullness expansion into a soft insubstantial neutralizing we call lu so follow respond to an incoming energy and release from following and neutralize divert the direction neutralize and change and then create opportunity for our own advantage and then return to counter attack counter the forthcoming energy with a return yielding energy back we call ji press and from this forwarding energy will evolve and transform again circle back soft circle back neutralize and then transform once more to a force coming expanding energy called an see this is almost perfectly a illustration or manifestation of the energy changes phrase stages from the soft in change to strong and yang energy substantial full and resilient outwards and transform itself return to the softness and neutralizing and diverting changing and to the second circle so using the yin and yang this inter transformative character to the martial application the underlying principle in tai chi is that we never initiate an attack we never initiate um, to take advantage however when we receive an incoming force the principle of tai chi is always to follow and to neutralize the popular saying is using soft energy softness neutralize and follow it while we're following in we ingeniously cleverly change the incoming energy to a different direction so guide it to away from our danger and then we create the opportunity this gap and to return to help our opponent's energy return the favor so we minimize we don't ever waste our own energy we're just using and go with follow neutralize the opponent's energy and return so it creates this softness overcome hardness another popular saying is tai chi is like a rotten um, steel or metal rod concealed in a cotton wool or needle concealed in a cotton wool precisely because this soft nature that we're moving in within this softness we're seeking that underlying energy this expansion and resilient energy strong this strength is 
however, presented not by brutal force, not by rigid force, is by natural shoulders down, elbows down, crown up, this three-dimensional expansion, forward, backwards, roundness, up and down. So all this round and outwardly soft and relaxation that is sort of wrapped the internal strength. Okay, so here I will start to re demonstrate, take you through these four techniques. Lan Chue Wei. I do it in the direction that we have set before to behind me the wall behind me will be my opening facing direction this i call it 12 o'clock that's the curtain the wall behind me and towards the camera is six o'clock okay so this is our um throughout follow me position when i after I demonstrate this first direction, then I will turn around to do the back view demonstration. Okay. I hope you have done some warm up by yourself. As I always said, Tai Chi is nice and soft, a very safe exercise. However, you still need to practice to do warm up before you enter a Tai Chi training to avoid to warm up the joints and muscle groups to avoid possible uh, strain on the muscles or the ligaments. Okay, please watch my demonstrations from the last of Repulse Monkey. We should um, re we should have done four times of Repulse Monkey. The last time will be the left hand and left foot to the front. The next movement, we will turn to 12 o'clock. Here's the con complete demonstration. Single whip, dambian. Let me demonstrate these three movements again. Now changing the direction, I move the 12 o'clock, this is the 12 o'clock, I move it to the camera. So here is the back view or the front view, depending how we define uh, the, the front view, okay? It's easier for most students to follow from the back view. 
Now, when we do the back view, we should finish repulse monkey. 倒卷弓，懒雀尾 grasp the peacock's tail, turn, hold the ball, step, ward off, hung. 驴 hold back, neutralize, circle round, 急 press forward, softness again, roll back. And push. This is the left form. Now we proceed to the right form. Hold the ball. Ward off. I move forward a little. Pull back. Press forward, G. Roll back, and single whip, 单边 Make a hook. Step. Okay. So now we have demonstrated from both views, the front and the back view. In its entirety, let's break these few movements down. Four techniques. We can see a lot of them happening from the upper body. Whether we will do the ward off, pull back, our footwork doesn't move too much. Even though our footwork doesn't move, as in. Draw back or step, but the footwork is very important. It is the source of energy supplies. It feeds in. It connect. Give our groundings for all of the waist movement, arms movement. So it's the base for all the energies. You. We need to. Regularly, pay attention to our footwork. So even though our footwork doesn't move in like other movements by stepping up or stepping back, throughout the grass peacock's tail, I would like to invite you to pay attention to how you feel your foot. Is connecting to the ground from the heel of your foot, into the ball of your foot, to the toes grabbing the floor. So the more we pay attention to the feeling of our feet and keep the back foot staying, the front and back foot active, the better for the upper body movements. So first, on the appearance. It's easy for the foot; it doesn't move much. However, quite often the easiest part is the hardest part, and it provides the base for the high rise. Okay. Next, we're going to break down to the changes of the hands. However, when whatever the changes of the hands happening. 
please remember the foot is connected it's right through throughout okay let's um do this from the front from the front view the first side is to our left to our left okay um if i do the mirrored image this is the mirrored image from repulse the monkey from repulse the monkey one one continue with the circle hold the ball draw the foot in stepping out two step out and this is to your left and as soon as you step out try to sit connecting in the tailbone down sit down and cruising along forward onto the front to the front foot and the same time we perform the first technique the first gate called peng 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 the front hand is starting from the bottom of the ball and feel that you are lifting you are lifting you're sliding and lifting grasping the te peacock's tail the top hand of the ball will tai xia tai means to sink and drop and guide your opponent's arm down and this is to lift create as if you're holding a shield as if you're holding a shield to get ready to protect yourself and making sure the back foot stays active the downward hand is on the side coming down to the side of the hips the next part extend 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 your lower hand up as if you're holding you're guiding the incoming arm down as if you're pulling downwards backwards towards the side of your hips guide your opponents down lu lu is guiding remember we're not applying force to pull it's guiding and following and inviting inwards and then release slightly to the side sort of guiding in and release like building the guidance for the river the stream coming in and diverting away and by now we are changed we have changed the direction of incoming force and now we're ready to create to create this opportunity to return so release small circle palm to palm your left hand is outside right hand is in and press forward again this energy comes from the back foot stays active and even though you feel you use you want to use your arms to press the real energy comes from the back of your leg through the waist cross upwards through to the shoulder elbow and only extend finish onto the hands separating your hands roll back another neutralization 
neutralize in follow, neutralize and create the opportunity to return. See, this is another soft softness. Transfer weight back, follow, 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 neutralize and downward slide downward and after you have guide and released divert down then we create the opportunity to return okay so here is the force techniques of the grass peacock's tail ward off pull back small circle round press forward and separate release neutralize again and extend return counter the techniques back Every time before the energy becomes a strong and counter attack, there must be first a neutralization. In some ways, the skill level of Tai Chi is all about training the skill for neutralization. How we neutralize. This can be a lesson not only for martial arts, but also a lesson for life. Whatever the challenge, the circumstances, the situation occurs, like the pandemic or something unexpected happened, we human cannot change the nature. We cannot we should not work against the nature. We must learn to adapt, to neutralize, to how to, um, to respond in such a way that it kind of protect us as much as we can and not to seek or hope the nature, the universe will change to suit us. It's all the living things on planet is trying to adapt the nature to the changes of the universe, the nature. So here is what we, the Tai Chi lesson is here, how not to go force against the force. There is an incoming force. We must resist the temptation to go block, hit back, or hit faster, or fit, hit stronger, is to try to see it coming, sense it coming, feel it coming, and respond, neutralize, so it works less to our disadvantage, not harm, not harm ourselves, release and let go, divert, neutralize. Well, that neutralize happens, what will naturally happen with our opponents? One, if you can imagine this, if they push or punch and they've been pulled gradually away from the original direction, the natural response would be pull back, right? As your opponents try to protect themselves back by pulling back, then it's the opportunity for us to return and help our opponent to retreat, to regain the balance. So you can see when they are coming towards us, when they are strong and advanced, we retreat. We follow, neutralize, we help them to advance. When they advance 
not causing the causing harm to us and they're naturally ready to retreat and then it's our turn to advance and help our opponent to retreat right that's way we're borrowing we're using their energy to our advantage in chinese we call this jie li da li we use or borrow their energy we minimize the waste of our own energy similarly we neutralize an incoming force say my opponent is pushing to my shoulder and i can invite them to push more push more push more push more and gradually neutralize and this energy pushing energy gradually will change as the extent of continuation of the exchange forward and this will come down so it no longer become my threat and this by natural response they want to retreat i will now able to help them to retreat and quite often the roots our of our hands will become a curved a curved retreat and neutralizing neutralization and slowly from push down and gradually a curved way push forward and upwards like a u like a bended u shape and then up forward the graph of the energy will be like this quite often you will see opponents of a to a higher skilled tai chi practitioner the opponents can be uprooted this way it's because of this curved energy neutralization and then plus the pushing at the end okay we have spent a lot of time to actually talk about the changes of the energy now let's try to talk about some of the um, positions just to be clear about the techniques the positions of the hands and your feet in the body weight okay i will still do the same side you are welcome to change to the other side okay so once more we start from this is the mirrored image to the left form okay one hold the ball two as light as possible step out and expand this is the ward off hold a shield ward off it's about your chest high shoulder and chest high lu pull back you want to first feel your hold of the opponent's arm so therefore your lower hand is kind of diagonally pointing towards your own elbow and the higher hand is about your own shoulder high so you're holding your opponent's guide from the elbow to the shoulder and pull down transfer weight back so sit back sit down this is why we need the solid base sit down so you can you're free you're soft enough for the upper body release circle palm to palm right to your chest level circle round your hips turn your hips around press forward again when you press make sure the power travels the correct route 
and to the end you must feel your chest slightly concurved chest slightly con concurved okay and not just the arms not just the bending of the elbows so you feel this power kind of expands from the front also to the back and separate hands shoulder high roll back as you neutralize down more or less towards your lower abdomen level and push forward now the push forward again from the abdomen level and in a curve both downward and upwards curve but also curve with a little bit side and then forward okay let's try the other side when you're ready sit back body weight sit back turn the toe in the left toe in keeping the shoulders down elbows down fingers at your shoulder level two shift your weight hold the ball exactly the same movement but done in the opposite direction step hung ward, ward off hold as if you're holding your shield ready to protect yourself Lu. Release finger soft and sit back. Pull down, pull back. We use pull, but remember this is to follow. We're not applying rigid and brutal force. We're following. Lu. Following, neutralizing, releasing and turn back now we're issuing transport power from the back issuing the energy forward all around expansion press separate your hands soft release neutralize 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 release slightly down and softer return and push push the push is not a straight direction it's the curve curve energy forward Good. Well done. Okay. This left form and right form of grass peacock's tail can be practiced by on its own as a small um, balance set continuously for great benefits. It helps to improve blood circulation because we're grabbing the floor with our toes, we constantly pay attention to the ball of the foot, the heel of the foot, that transfer of the body weight. It greatly improves the energy circulation to the far end of our body. So not only good, for martial purpose to develop our roots to develop our grounding but it also greatly helps our blood circulation chi circulation and help to remove stagnations in the body if you practice 
left to right on its own, by six times, you will feel your body becomes really warm, okay? And your core muscles, perhaps these big strict muscles, will become uh, hot as well. So all of these signs and raise the temperature, slightly sweating, all of these signs are good signs for good exercise. So we're talking, I have spent a lot of time talking about uh, neutralization for the underlying uh, martial principles. It's because it's helpful to remember how to do the movements. Don't forget, these, the health benefits is a direct result of doing the movement correctly. We have a principle, a long, um, very important principle we always quote, is to seek stillness in motion, which means don't rush movements, don't rush the hands or the foot. You must feel or to seek every movement is a meditative type of movement is you is the chi your energy leading your hands if you don't feel the chi is ready then you would wait and so the energy is ready then it takes takes your body forward almost like if the engine of the car is switched on, then the, en the car can move forward. If the engine is not on, doesn't matter how you turn the wheel, how you press the accelerator, there's no real power. So seek stillness in motion is to allow us to pay attention to our mind to initiate the chi and to power our movements. This is the, another internal principles called use mind, not brutal force. Yong yi wu yong li. Uh, these two should be a practice while you were working on the techniques but all the time to remember those two important principles seek stillness in motion use mind not brutal force with those two principles let's practice one more time on this uh, grasp peacock's tail left form right form then we move on to single whip. Okay, adjusting the position. Up, ready. Grass peacock's tail. Hung. Lu. This is the follow me direction. You can follow. Let's do it together. Neutralize, press, separation, roll back, neutralize, and push. Turn, sit back, toe in. Body weight, return to the left. Hold ball, stepping out, ward off, pull back. Use mind, use chi to lead the body. Feel the energy travels in the body. Softness, neutralize, sink, and 
expand and push. Next, transfer weight back, turn. Weight to your right. Collect your fingers to a hook. Draw the left foot in. Three, four. Dan bien single whip. Okay. Now let's talk about the single whip for one moment. Single whip is another representative movement of Yang style. We first have a new handshake, new handshake. From palm, we now need to gently release, collect your five fingers to the thumb. So collect fingers to the thumb, making the hook. The other hands maintain as a palm. This palm, the shape of the forward pushing palm is a, not a rigid flat palm, is a slight, it's a slight, slight concurved in the center of the palm. Feel that scent of the palm is on the surface of a ball. Can you imagine? Um, in my UK, in my UK studio, I regularly prepare a basketball. So can show you. But if you can imagine there's a ball right in front. So here and the shape of the hands is almost resting your palm to the ball. So the surface of your palm is slightly curved, but it's not a rigid curve. It needs to feel your fingers nat open naturally. Some, some, the web between the index finger and the thumb open naturally too. So here is the front hand or pushing hands, okay? The back hand, is the hook is as you can see there's yes there's space between okay the ring is a ring shape so here is the hand shape hook in mandarin is called go palm open palm in mandarin it's called jiang jiang it's open palm Go making the hook, okay, hook. Single whip is to, if you imagine what we are doing, is to neutralize again, follow. We said before, Tai Chi never initiates an attack, but we are very good at listening to an incoming force. So you follow this force, and grab. This is like almost a grab the wrists. Okay, incoming push or incoming punch. So we gently guide it and neutralize it, neutralize and grab. This is almost like a grab, making the hook. And then the other hand to go counter strike, counter strike. So we neutralize and then yield back forward. This is what we're doing. So give us a focus, an energy focus to the meaning of the movements. Now let's. Um, go through step by step on this move. If I do this movement, um, okay, by mirrored image again, 
So on the mirrored image, the left form of Peng Lu uh, Zi An, grass peacock sail, is this way. And then we will do the opposite way, Peng Lu Zi An. We will finish on the mirrored image. This is the, you can follow me. We are now your mirror. Next, single whip. One, shift your weight. Arms open, spread. As if you're sliding, okay, sliding over. So do it once more. One, shift your weight, taking the toe in. And open palm, spreading out. Two. Okay, once more, um, we will try to do it. Do it like, mm. <laughs> ready? One, follow through, this other hand follow through, two, Shift your weight over and collect your five fingers, making the hook. Draw the left foot in. Three. Step. Four. Transfer weight. Gosh. Okay. Once more, the, pay attention to the transitions, to the transitions, to the mirrored image, okay? From the grass peacock's tail, the push. One, sit back and turn to the left. Taking the toe in. Two, turn to your right. Transfer weight, three, making a hook, draw the left foot in. The palm will close to the elbow. Step out, four. Single whip. Now the angle between the palm and the hook is over 90 degrees okay so this two arm needs to spread wider than 90 degrees however not over too much the maximum is about 90 plus 45 to the corner behind okay good So single whip to this movement involves two directions. Your eyes will look the front hand, the forward hand pushing. When we say push in this single whip, the pushing hand is not a straight angle push or it's not a circle down and flick, it's rather like a curve, upwards, slight upwards, like a bridge, a shape of a curved bridge. So from here, we slowly rise to the eye level as you continue to go forward, rotate palm and then go forward forward and downward, a little bit dive down, okay? A little bit take off and a little bit landing or a dive down. This is when we say the single whip push. 
why it's called single whip. When we use the whip, okay, if you have ever had the honor um, to watch or even try to whip using a long whip, then you will find when you throw this whip, the root of the long whip, it actually goes, you circle uh, first. <laughs> I've learned this in the, uh, uh, when I visit uh, the down under Australia, I was, we were in the farm, so we were uh, shown and to get to practice. So you circle, 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 and then you go, go forward or almost like a throwing a little bit. But so the, the whip, it travels a little bit curved over and then reach out and crack, make a very loud sound, okay? So here is the energy that we borrowed, uh, vividly borrowed that energy of that whip. And feel that energy travels like the root of a whip. And that's why it's called single whip. Bambian. To the left, turn. To the right, shift your weight. Make the hook. Draw the left foot in. Step out. Transfer weight and push. Okay. Okay. The transformation of the energy is the driving force for the health benefits too. When we practice Tai Chi, we you want to feel regularly or you will have a intention or pay attention try to imagine what you are doing your your energy is leading you so for example we have talked about the transformation of the four techniques now in single whip there's a rising feel for example a rising when we describe this curve the energy starts rise and then to its peak and then it rotates it trans, um, rotates stimu stimulating the meridians and then it kind of sinks so it comes down drops down forward reaching to the end there should be an expansion of feeling of expansion and resilience energy from the palms to the heels, heel of the palms, finger of the palms, and to the wrists, elbows, to the shoulders, in the corner of shoulders, elbows down, shoulders open, dropped, crown is lifting up, and the backhand also equally expanding and stretching out internally without locking any joints, no, no locking. So it's almost straight, naturally straight. So the changes of the energy, it's difficult at first to see. However, it's essential of our aim to practice Tai Chi. And also it will be the reason for helping to improve the circulation to remove stagnation of the energy to clear of blockages in our body and help to maintain our health and well-being okay that's all for our lesson today uh, if you have any questions i'm happy to leave the last five minutes to answer your questions live okay thank you everyone to participate today's public lecture uh, i have regular 
classes. If there's anything that I can help you to make your Tai Chi more enjoyable, uh, feel free to get in touch with me and via the European Tai Chi Culture Center. And you're very welcome to come and try out my weekly lesson. Okay, I will say see you next time for now. Okay.